Hello everyone, this is Swati. Welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how to create and invite user in Slack channel. Now, let's say that you are a business person and again, you are delivering your products to different MNCs. Now, what you want here is that uh, every time there is a new lead generation or there is a new project that you're working on. So, to distinguish between different projects, you want to create a channel on Slack with the name of the user or with the name of the company so that all the interactions that you wish to do or all the information that you wish to share, to sh you should share on that particular channel itself. So in this way, it is very easy for you to distinguish between different channels. So let us here assume that uh, there is a new project and uh, or there is a new lead which came through Pabli form builder application. So every time there's a new form submitted, automatically with the name of the user, the Slack channel would be created and then again automatically a message would be shared to that particular person on Slack. Now how would you do that? This can be done manually but the only thing is it is going to kill a lot of time and it is going to be troublesome and hectic and boring. Now what if I tell you that I have got this awesome automation where this, these three steps would get automated which means every time there's a new form submission automatically this would be there would be a channel created and a message should be sent how by integrating these three applications and how would you integrate these three applications by using this awesome software which is Pabli connect this is an integration and automation software where trust me you do not need any coding skills you can do this yourself you can literally do it yourself how would you do this for that let me take you to my screen so let us start with the process. The first thing is that we need to type the URL www.pabli.com slash connect and as we press on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. On the right hand side here, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. Sign in if you are an existing user and if you are a new user, you can simply sign up for free. Now since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in. Now we here provide you 100 free tasks every month in the free account of Pabli Connect. Now here as we clicked on sign in, it has taken us to the all apps page. So these are all the applications. And since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, so I'm going to click on access now here. And now it has taken us to the dashboard of this page. On the right hand side, you can see a blue tab create workflow. So we are going to click on this and as soon as we do that, it is asking us to name our workflow. Our objective is that every time there is a new user, so we have to create a channel on Slack with the same name that the user has. And then we have to invite that user and then share information with him. So now I am going to name it like this invite new user to Slack channel. Let's click on create here. Now, as we do that again, it has taken us to this window where you can see two very important events trigger and action. So triggers and actions are basically those two principles, those two concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Basically, action is the response of trigger. Now, what do we want? First of all, every time there is a new user. Now, this new user can come through, you know, if there is a form submission, then we can get the details of a new user or it can be manual. So let's say that there is a form submission and here I'm going to choose my first application as Pabli Form Builder. Now, what should be the trigger event? New form submission. Now here you can see that a webhook URL has appeared and then it is asking us to log into our Pabli Form Builder account and follow these steps. So now I'm going to take you to my Pabli Form Builder account and here I've already created a form. So name of the form is new user slack. Then we have certain categories, first name, last name, email, number, address and write your message. Now what I'm going to do is here on the left hand side, you can see integration. Let's click on this integration once you have created the form. And now we are going to click on this create webhook. So let's click on this and now it is asking us to enter the webhook URL to send the submissions to our endpoint. For this, we are going to go back to Pabli Connect and here we are going to copy this webhook URL, go back and paste it. As we have done this, we are going to click on save. So now basically this connection has been set up going back to our Pebbly Connect. 
here we are going to click on capture webhook response and now it is saying that we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response for this once we are here let's click on this preview so now let us fill in this form and i'm going to write my first name as dummy123 and the last name is testing then we have the email so let's say the email is demo at pablitudes.com then we have the number and the random address and the message is hello i'm going to click on submit here to submit my form and go back to my pably connect account to see if we have received the response and yes here you can see that is this is the first name then the last name email address mobile number everything has been captured which means that pably form builder and connect these two applications have now got integrated now i'm going to here add another action step what do i need now that i have the details of the user i need to create a slack channel so the application would be slack and here the action event would be create channel let's click on this connect and here i'm going to click on add new connection by because pably connect is here asking to connect with slack account and now i'm going to click on connect with slack here we have to enter the user token token type basically so i'm going to select user why because whenever you have to send messages along with some pictures or videos or urls we usually select user to know more about the slack tokens you can click here so let's click on the save and now since i've already logged into my slack account so here pably connect is requesting permission to access the pably connect slack workspace now let's come down and click on this allow and here we are done with the authorization process which means that pably connect and slack are now connected now here we have to write the name of the channel and now here it is very well written that channel names can only contain lowercase letters numbers hyphens and underscores and we need to create this channel with the name of the user but here we can see that dummy123 is not all in lowercase so here we need to add another action step which is a feature by pably which is text formatter so this text formatter is going to format our name so i'm going to add the action event as text and basic formatting now let's click on connect once done here we have to map our data so which is the like data that we wish to transform so i'm going to go to pably form builder new form submission click on first name and now transform it to lowercase and now let's click on save and send test request now here you can see that we have received the response as dummy123 where now d is in small letters let's come down and here i'm again going to create this connection why because remember that every time you have added a new action step in between you should always make this connection again and now let's map the data for the channel name for this i'm going to go to step two and select this dummy one two three do you want this channel to be private so let's click on true why because because i want that all the messages that i'm sending to this person should remain with this particular person only now let's click on save and send test request and here you can see that yes we have received our response so this is the channel name and the channel was created so we have received our response and now we are going to add another action step here now since we have the channel already with us we need to send a message again on slack so i'm going to choose my application as slack okay and then here i'm also going to show you on slack here you can see that this dummy123 is the name of the channel that we have just created so let me take you back to public connect here and now what is the action even going to be here i want to send a channel message let's click on connect and now i already have logged into my slack account so i'm going to select existing connection and click on save now here we are supposed to map the channel id for which i'm going to go to slack create channel and this is the channel id now the next thing is the message so this is my message hello and i have mapped the name of my user and then this is to invite you to this slack channel cheers and then as now i'm going to go down and click on save and send test request what should happen now see here i have received the api response what should happen now there on this particular channel a message should be shared so i'm going to go here and dummy123 and here you can see there is a message from admin hello dummy123 this message message is to invite you to the slack channel cheers clear here i can add people like 
any number of people that I want. I hope this is clear to you. Now I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go back to this form. So here's the form and now I'm going to give my first name as let's say first name one two three and then the last name would be last name then the email address and then the number address and write your messages hello hi now i'm going to click on submit as soon as i do this what should happen basically a new slack channel should be created and then a message should be shared so here i'm going to go back to slack and this is my channel that has just been created i'm going to click on this and now here you can see that a message is also like being shared on this particular channel this message is to invite you to the slack channel so that is this this was the process i hope we are clear with this this is just a four step process what did we do so let's quickly go and check what was the process the first thing was that we needed information about our client or the new users for that i have attached Pabli form builder so every time there is a new form submission i should receive the data second i have used text formatter by Pabli. why because i had to change the format of the name then i had created a channel on slack and later another time like i had chosen slack as my action application where i had chosen the action step event as send channel message and that is it in case of any doubt you can refer to the workflow because the same workflow is given in the description box of this video and you can even clone it to process directly if you have any further suggestions or advice or anything then you can always write to us